Here's how to disable voice messages on your iPhone. Now, the first step is to head into the messages app here, and I'm gonna walk you through a couple examples. Now, there are two different places that you'll be able to see those voice messages. One is right above the P, I can tap and hold on this, and it will start to record my voice. And let's get out here. The other one is at the very bottom right, there's that microphone that I can tap on, and it will start to not record my voice, but translate or dictate it from voice or audio over to text. And I can tap on it to stop. Now keep in mind those two different things, I'll walk through some options to remove them. At the very bottom right, that little microphone, you can remove it by tapping on settings, tapping on general, and then scrolling down until you get to keyboard here. So tap on keyboard, and then we can scroll down and it says dictation. You're gonna turn off enable dictation and hit turn off. You'll be able to see when I go back into messages at the very bottom right, that microphone is no longer there. However, right above the P, that audio symbol is still there. And if I tap on plus, you'll be able to see audio is here as well to leave an audio message. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to disable this in the iPhone keyboard. It's just a built-in feature. They haven't given us the option to disable it. However, you do have another option. You can always just open up the app store here and you can type in keyboard. And on here, let's search for a keyboard. A good option is, let's scroll down, is the Gboard. This is essentially a keyboard created by Google. And you'll be able to see on here a lot of different functionality on what you can turn on and off. You have different themes. And essentially, if you wanted to remove that audio little button right above the P, then you can just download and install an alternate keyboard, a third party keyboard like the Gboard. And then essentially it will show up with that keyboard and it will no longer have that audio message button there that you might have mistakenly hit if you're trying to type something. Maybe every time you type a P, you accidentally hit that button and it just doesn't work very well for you. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys.